Hi, everyone. I grew up 10 minutes from NC State's campus, but for the last eight years, I've worked for the World Health Organization and have lived in Geneva, Switzerland, where our headquarters are based. So that's where I'm coming to you from today. WHO has been in the news a lot this year, but for those of you who aren't quite sure what we do outside of the obvious coronavirus, we're a United Nations agency focused on promoting health, serving the vulnerable, and keeping the world safe. I think this last year has shown us the extent to which health is at the center of everything. When people are healthy, families, communities, countries, and economies develop and thrive. So at WHO, we hold that everyone everywhere has a right to health, and we work with governments and other partners to ensure that all individuals and communities have access to quality and affordable health services that they need. But well, that's enough of me on my health soapbox. Today, for you PARC finalists and your families, I want to tell you briefly about how PARC and NC State got me from North Carolina to Switzerland. First off this weekend, if you haven't already, you're gonna hear a lot about the four tenets of the PARC program. But for me, PARC showed me how scholarship, leadership, service, and character could be combined to inspire a service-oriented career. This started for me in my second year on a PARC uh, organized learning lab retreat to Washington DC. And learning labs are these amazing opportunities where scholars choose a, an issue of national or global importance and design uh, a learning trip of a couple of days around that. And so my class had chosen foreign assistance or international aid, something I knew nothing about before the trip. But it was a session that we had at the US Department of State that broadened my horizons immensely in the period of about 60 to 90 minutes. And at the end of the session, seeing my saucer wide eyes, someone from the park office, it may actually have been Eva, encouraged me to ask for the presenter's card. I did and wrote her an email afterwards and 10 months later was headed to Washington DC to the Department of State to start the first of what would be two internships there. And that, in turn started me down a path of intertwining my academic interests with service, discovering this world of international development, international health and mission driven work. That eventually several years later led me to WHO. And I entered WHO at a fairly early stage in my career. And in doing so was thrown into the deep end into a formal diplomatic and extremely hierarchical organization that brings together people from different cultures around the world who all have to work together towards achieving WHO's mission. And here too, again, I was enormously grateful for the PARC program's investment in developing my leadership and character qualities, which meant that I was able to hold my own competently and with humility at the highest level. And that's a bit about the PARC program. Now over to NC State. It's impossible for me to think about NC State and not think about think and do, um, but I wanna give you two examples of what that looked like for me in practice. I received my introduction to anthropology and research, not in a classroom in Raleigh, but rather at an NC State run field school in rural Guatemala the summer after my freshman year. And the experience I had over those eight weeks prompted me to add a second major and started a lifelong love not only of the social sciences, but also of living abroad and meeting people from different cultures and backgrounds, both of which are very integral parts of my career and my personal life today. Uh, when we talk about think and do, we often don't talk about how useful it is to have practical learning opportunities that can tell you what you don't want to do. And think and do has been very helpful for me in that sense as well. One example is I took a genetics course, I think in my third or fourth year uh, at NC State, and loved the course, loved the professor, was super excited and inspired about it, enough so that I got a position in a quantitative genetics lab with a professor, professor who's internationally renowned. However, six months after chasing fruit flies around the lab, I had this realization that maybe bench laboratory science wasn't for me. And that was okay. I was able to pivot to something else. And I can say this in short, that having spanned the life sciences and the social sciences at NC State, the breadth of this institution, its resources, its diversity and its opportunity is truly impressive and will set you up to dive into whatever you want to do next.
it did that for me. I've said a bit about NC State and the park program, but one last thing I wanna mention in the time I have left is the park community. You are of course, not obliged to hang out with only your park class classmates. Most of us don't. And you'll meet many amazing people at NC State. But for me, my park classmates were the first people I met when moving to campus. And they are among the people that 10 years out, I still keep in touch with. While at NC State, park scholars older than me created opportunities for me in the classroom and around campus. And as I became an upperclassman, I did the same for those younger. The weight of this program and its prestige will ensure that professors, the fellowship advising office, this administration give you opportunities and look to work with you. Formal and informal mentoring and professional opportunities are available to you almost from your first day. And once you graduate, those connections stay. The network catches you. Older scholars like myself and Tommy are here for you to reach out to for advice and feedback as you plot your own path and you'll keep in touch with your own classmates. I'll close by saying this, I have had the fortune, the great fortune this year to be more involved with the um, Park Scholar application process than I have been in past years. So I read applications and interviewed semi-finalists. And so I can attest to you, this class, that you are an incredible group of inspiring and truly resilient young people. So I can promise you that you're gonna excel wherever it is that you decide to go. So I hope that this weekend, my advice to you is to, that you ask questions and talk to as many people as you can, virtually, of course. And I hope at the end of this, when you do, that you can envision yourself finding a home here at NC State. Thank you so much and go Wolfpack.